I'm not dressed for these conditions. Hello and welcome to another video and you can probably tell from the consistency slash texture of my face it's pretty hot today. Um, now I'm going to start this video by giving you a little bit of a bulking update. Uh, things are going pretty well, in fact probably too well, like suspiciously well. So um, I'm now up to like 101.5 kilos I think, which is about 220 five pounds, 220 220 something pounds, um, so I'm up by like another kilo, up by another two pounds from last week, which is obviously good. Um, but yeah, it's just funny because I remember, I mean, the last time I really committed to bulking was last year going into the British Champs, and it absolutely killed me. Now, what I was doing there, I think the mistake I made is that I was just trying to get all my extra calories through food, and because I already have to eat a lot of calories just to maintain my body weight, it just really hit me hard, like my gag reflex was really, really struggling, so I just found it horrible and I was being sick and stuff, whereas this time around, the trick I've uh, been using, which has been really, really effective, is very simply getting as many liquid calories as I can. So I'm eating pretty much the same that I was beforehand, about 5,000 calories of predominantly from food, but what I'm adding to that is coconut oil, so twice a day I will have uh, 25 to 30 grams of coconut oil which over the course of the day gives me an extra like 500 calories so it's a very easy way to bulk without really noticing it's just like basically eating your normal stuff but drinking like two hot chocolates a day it's pretty easy anyway I'm outside the gym now uh, and that is kind of the next part of my bulking obviously the reason I am bulking is to get stronger um, and get bigger which will obviously enable me to get stronger um, and so today I'm going to go and I'm going to do some bench press then I'm going to do like a push workout but all of my stuff, oh, there comes the bus, right on time. Rude, that is very, very rude. Um, with all my stuff, all of my uh, compound movements and my accessory bodybuilding hypertrophy type stuff, I am, uh, I am measuring and I'm progressively overloading everything. So basically, every session I go in, I will uh, record like a 10 rep PR or a, uh, an AMRAP PR or whatever it is and then next week I'll very simply try and beat it and I've started off relatively conservatively and I'm going to continue to increase that and obviously as I'm bulking as those numbers go up and that is that's obviously a good thing if I'm getting heavier and all of my numbers in the gym are going up I know that I'm getting stronger um, and when it comes to nearer competition time and I start to drop the uh, reps and increase the intensity that should translate to some big big numbers anyway um, I'm about to eat one of these bad boys it's like a little yogurt bar thing, it is uh, pretty good, mm, it's just like a, I don't know, like a thing with like some yogurt stuff on it and some stuff inside it, um, that is kind of the, so people always ask like, because I don't film days of eating during work days, and people always ask like what do I eat during the day, like that's pretty much, I eat a lot of that kind of stuff, like snack type stuff, so, I'll eat three big meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, and I'll eat like cereal bars and maybe like, I've got some like my protein flapjacks and then fruit and nuts, all that stuff, as much of it as I can get in, you know, anytime I get a 10 minute window, I'll just quickly get some stuff down me, that is basically how I play it. Anyway, boring, I'm going to go in, do my session, see you on the other side.
done back home and that was good um, I hit PRs for everything from my uh, like my bench stuff to my uh, push hypertrophy stuff um, admittedly it's not the kind of PRs you shout about and stuff like a uh, lying uh, machine fly PR but a PR is a PR and as I always say if you are lifting heavier um, then generally speaking you're going to be getting bigger particularly obviously if your weight's going up then that's kind of impossible not to be so that is a good thing and that is obviously what I'm aiming for in this bulk anyway I'm sat I'm back at home now I'm sat out the back I'm actually reclining on one of these chairs I'll show you what I'm doing right now oh my god I'm gonna drop this camera um, so I'm leaning back like this now if um, Sears was out here, I would be in trouble because I'm banned from leaning back on chairs because there was a little issue where I leaned back on a chair in the kitchen and I broke the floor. Now, who's to say having a broken floor isn't a good thing, you know? So, as far as I'm concerned, that's, just, that's subjective, but... Yeah, I'm gonna probably sit down now because if she comes out, she will be annoyed. Um, right, I'm eating, I'm in the process of eating a banana. Uh, which I've labelled because, quite frankly, it's very, very satisfying writing on bananas. And also, one of these bad boys, which is a My Protein Flapjack, mentioned it earlier, they're really, really good. I'll be honest, like, I um, don't really like most protein based snacks, like protein bars and cookies and whatever. I'll be honest, I don't really like them. I've struggled to find one that I like, but this is actually nice. It just pretty much tastes like a nice flapjack, but the macros on it are decent, so if I can get a little focus on this. Probably not going to focus, that's annoying, there we go. So, see on the right there, so for one of these flapjacks, you're looking at 20 grams of protein, 330 calories, and they're fairly easy to eat, so it's kind of win-win for everyone, apart from the flapjack, which is obviously being eaten, and then digested, and then obviously flushed down the toilet in a pretty unceremonious fashion. Anyway, I'm going to eat that. Then, I've uh, got some exciting news, so, as far as dinner goes, we have uh, some friends of ours are back from uh, Australia and we're all going out for a meal, we're going for a curry, I believe. It says, where are we going? What's it called? Coppers? Copper? Yeah. Copper? Copper. Just copper? That's, I'm not sure that's not right, is it? Coppers. It's called Coppers. Um, we're going to a place with Coppers, which is like an awesome curry place. I say that's awesome, I've never been there, but I've heard it's awesome, so that should be good. So, there uh, should be loads of people there and loads of food, which means uh, good news for the bulking front. I've showered, I've watched the last episode of Game of Thrones. OMG, that was insane. The weather is absolutely wonderful. I think we're going to eat outside. Uh, let's go and get some core. I'm not dressed for these conditions. And we're in, and it's looking pretty pink. Uh, now, everyone is kind of turned up. They're all over there in the corner. Uh, now, the issue I'm having is that everyone's socializing, saying hello, saying hi to the guys from Australia that we haven't seen for ages. It's all very nice. However, there is no sign of any impending food, and I'm pretty hungry, so I might just go and sit on my own table uh, get some food, eat it, and then go home. Okay, people are down, and they are contemplating choices. Um, I am, I think, oh my god, I, there's quite a lot of weird stuff in this menu, like, I feel like some of the words are just made up, like that, jaggery, that's not a real word, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting this one because it looks fairly good, but sliced Malay is like some weird fake like protein thing, so I'm going to ask if I can get this, but change that for like chicken or something. We'll see how that works. Eat one of these popper doms. <laughs> All good. Do we it now? It for you? No, it's just a little clip. Kirsty, I can't even get them out. Act normal, Kirsty. Act normal. It's from the chef. Don't mind if I do. Plates are being given out. This must be a sign that food is close. I'm so freaking hungry. I am struggling. Oh my god. So the food is here. Um, I have. This is chicken, and then this is called uh, ready orange sauce. And that is rice with some orange stuff on it. Uh, 
I'm going to show you my curry technique in case you are not a curry expert, which I am. This is awkward. Team photo, this is awkward. I'm just going to vlog while they're doing this. Just ignore them. So you pour all of your rice onto a plate, you then dispose of the plate, you then pour. That. You then pour all of your curry onto your plate. <laughs> then put the plate down. You went live when you said you weren't you curry are, And you are good to go. Um, there's all kinds of things going on Nothing down here. here. Nothing going on here. Dave's on a diet <laughs> because he is morbidly obese. Um, and then he's got the same as me. Lack of originality. It says it's got something or fish. Fish curry, that's called fish curry. There's loads really of stuff down there, yeah, that's quite aggressive. Um, I'll be honest now, I don't want to film anymore because I'm unbelievably hungry, so I'm going to eat this and see you shortly. Yeah. Not even a contest. He inserts his food. Too much you take. It's spicy. No. Is it? <laughs> we are back home, and for some reason, being in the kitchen around this area here makes my face look really red. But I can assure you, it's not. Uh, the noise you can hear now is the sound of my microwave heating up my milk. You can't see that, you can just see, or you can actually look carefully, uh, which I'm gonna have with, ooh, with some coconut oil. I ran out of the my protein one, so I'm using, I think this is from my protein still, I'm not sure actually. This is like a different brand of coconut oil. I'm gonna order loads more. I didn't want to order loads, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but now I know that it's good, I will, yeah, order a massive amount of it. I think you can order like, I'm not gonna do this because it's weird, but you can actually order a five kilogram tub, I think, a five kilo tub of uh, coconut oil. That's pretty mental. You know, I'd question the kind of people that are ordering that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have that with the milk, with the chocolate smooth whey, with the creatine, and then I'm going to bed because it is late and I'm really tired and it's a weekday and this is very late for a weekday and I need the toilet quite significantly. So I sincerely hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.